Squish, are you sure there's oil out here, man? We're almost at the end of this desert, and I don't see any yet. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Pixar. Squishy is taking me on a wild goose chase, apparently. I mean, well, you said there was oil out here. Oh. I mean, you don't know where it's at. You just know it spawns in the desert. Well, I'll give you this. I know that the dung beetles can spawn out here, and those produce oil. So I suppose that's right, but we're we we haven't really seen any subterranean spots. There's a couple of valleys down there, but you know, come to think of it, there's a little bit more of a desert biome here. So let's let's travel there. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Squishy. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Although there is a little space to get underneath that I didn't check here. No, that's super dangerous. We can't just go anywhere to check for this oil squishy. There's some caves around the house, for instance, that are way, way, way too dangerous to just go exploring willy-nilly. So hopefully we'll find it here. I seem to remember seeing oil flowing somewhere. I just didn't mark it. And, well, I, I, I should have marked it, I know. But I'll look around. Look at that. Argentavis, how beautiful, squishy. Oh, my goodness. It's gorgeous. Okay. So, we have a couple options here. We have get a dung beetle. Uh, there's petroleum slimes. Yeah. I think you need power to run the incubator for those, though. Um, hmm. I'm not, really else, I'm not really sure what else besides flow and oil. That's a dangerous part of the biome here. Maybe we ought to go a little bit deeper into the desert and see. And when I'm talking deep, I don't necessarily mean underground, but... Here we are. Uh, there's a lot of gems out here. Uh-huh. That's a little goblin. Those goblins can give some really, really good stuff, too. I think you could get a goblin market. You know. Let's let's look at this guy real quick before we before we go too much. Who is who are you? It's a goblin king. Alright. Uh very is he very strong yeah he is pretty strong i mean we do have the rex that we could pull out on him squishy we, we we have a rex let's see if i can take him let's see if i can take him i think i could just run away from him if it's that big of a deal he might just run away from me and i do always have dune that i can pull out in no time flat Let's see. Let's see what we how we handle with this scorpion. This is a five. This is a five star two of difficulty, right? Yeah, they do. Uh, I'm doing a lot of damage to this guy. Lots and lots and lots. Okay, there's a dung beetle. Let's not let. Oh no 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 no. Let's not kill him. Let's not kill him. That would actually be perfect. Um. Hmm. Well, we done made him mad. I think. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tease him. Okay. Uh, we don't have any poop on us. We can maybe eat. Maybe some of this Thanksgiving turkey will give me what I need. I should have thought about that before I came out here. But at any rate, Tyrannodon, you got any, uh, can can you do any pooping? No? I, I don't guess. I don't know if you actually have a poop meter, do you? Yeah, we can't, we can't, There's there's nothing that we can actually do to increase this the frequency of this happening and i can't do it myself it used to be z oh z does work ah oh, press z to poop that was our first uh that was our first tribe on arc squishy yeah. i thought it was plus but yeah the pteranodon the pteranodon's got it oh the pteranodon made a couple of them. okay hold on now hold on this could be it squishy this could be it let's see if i can get behind this little dung beetle and feed him no it's not it's not one of those things. Okay, let's take a look at the dung beetle, okay? It says it's tameable. That's all it says. Do we have to knock it out? I really don't have the setup to knock it out right now, Squishy. I don't I thought they were passive. Sneak up on it? No, you can't I mean it would give me the option and it hasn't yet. So I can only assume that it's not it's not a thing. Let's hit it with an arrow and see what happens. Okay. It has torpidity of... Oh, man. We have just enough arrows. No, come back here. Come back here. Oh, my God. He's going to escape, Squish. All right. I think he's out. <laughs> I think he's out now. So, um, 
Let's let's go ahead and put the poop on the guy. He's a knockout team. It's a little bit different. Yeah, I didn't know either, buddy. I didn't know either. Okay, he has a lot of poop on him. I don't know how much he's gonna have, but um, we gonna we gonna check out this Goblin King now too. All right, there's another uh, dung beetle over there too. That one was like level sixty, and we had a, this is this guy is level one hundred something. Okay, he has. 1800 health, but he's not doing anything but trying to run away. This is actually a blessing in disguise. Yeah, it's get him. <laughs> it's an old goblin, man. No mercy for the weak or the coward, Squishy. <laughs> you tell him, buddy. All right. We have him down. Did he drop anything good? Is the question. A bunch of glowing particles and a little bag. He left behind some gold ingots, some territory certificates, and flint. <laughs> Trash, Squishy. Trash. Well, that's a thing, okay? Let's go ahead and grab the cores that we left behind. <laughs> Is that going to be that scorpion? Might as well take care of this guy. Yeah, my torpidity is increasing, but I'm not really scared of you if you hadn't noticed yet. <laughs> scorpion, this... this we don't even have good armor yet, and we just rocking these things, Squishy. We are just rocking these things. If I can stay on them and do do damage to them at least. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. Let's go check on our little poopy project here. Okay, you are at. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there, there's no way, Squishy. We don't have nearly enough poop to tame this guy. Not even close. Um, let's see if we can, let's see if we can make more. You know, you know who can make some big turds, Squishy? <laughs> I think, I think that's our, our only option here, buddy. I really think that's our own option. All right, let's put the saddle on him so that we can actually make him poop. Don't. Dune, I hope you've been eating good, buddy. I hope you've been eating good. Can we do this? No, not yet. Not ready to defecate yet. All right. Well, there's going to be some problems here, I think. What about if we remote use a lot of items on him? And then try. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> Thank you, Dune. Thank you, buddy. You're the best. <laughs> I know, Squishy. It's animal abuse, I tell you. Force feeding to make him poop. Poor Dune. Dune likes the snacks. Though. He does. He told me so. Well, we'll go ahead and load him up, I suppose. All right. He's got two large feces in here. Uh, and we'll we'll see what happens here. And as for you, Dune, uh, if you please, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna continue feeding you snacks, buddy. And we're gonna try to we're gonna try to make something happen here, okay? We're gonna try to make something happen. Let's feed you some more snacks. There we go. Keep that food level nice and high. And can we... Nope, not ready yet. Okay, you just take your time, dude. I'm not going to try to squeeze blood out of a turnip or anything. We're going to see how this is working, though. Ooh, look at that bite, Squishy. Yeah, a few of dunes. A few of dunes. And uh, we do it. Dune, you, you have serious nutrition, my friend. Uh, are you ready to go yet? No, I think we're going to continue giving you some food, buddy. Continue giving you some food and see if we can um, if we can get one more out of here. I might actually take you on a little hunt too, to tell you the truth. That seems uh, plausible. We we'll make sure that our little Pteranodon has uh, we we gonna we gonna maximize turd usage here. Not ready to defecate yet, and I'm not ready either. Okay. So the only thing we can do really is use a little bit of all this pent up energy and maybe uh maybe make a new little snack for our dung beetle friend huh oh look at that squishy yeah i know you can't see right now hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on Squishy, this, this, these are these are the guys, man. These are the guys. Yeah, I know it's not it's not your kind. I realize that, but uh, these 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 guys seriously are the guys that we need. Are they aggressive at all? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, hmm. I wonder if I could just feed him. Are you passive, little guy? <gasps> You are. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, all right. 
Um, yeah, that works good, Squishy. Uh, looks like just some primal bone pieces here. I don't know where that came from, but we have a, we got a couple tames going on. We doing pretty good now, wow. buddy. There wow. we go, Dune. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. I think that's going to be enough to secure the deal here. I think so. He's almost out of, uh, we might have to hit him with another arrow to tell you the truth. I wanted to avoid that if possible. You know, there's, there's, we don't have any berries on us at all right now. No, no. Uh, you know, it sucks to do it, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do it anyway. His health's fine. If we hit him with another arrow, look his unconsciousness. Let's do one more since we can't really do anything with just that no, arrow. No. That, just to, just to secure the fact that we're gonna get this guy. And now, with these, uh, maybe one more or even something from myself just to top it off, you know? There it is. He ate his second one. It might take more than just one more, you know. So I have to, I'll have to keep an eye on that. But uh, we'll be able to get at least a little piece. This goblin left us some treasure earlier too, right? Ah, uh, this is nothing. They don't leave anything, man. They really don't. Okay. Oh, there's another goblin king. I, uh, you know. I will definitely, wow. definitely try to kill you though, even though I was just talking bad about what you dropped. <laughs> More gold? I mean, gold isn't bad to have, yeah. right? All right. <laughs> let's let's see if we can feed our buddy again, as soon as we can get up here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's eating good, Squishy. Yeah. <gasps> Another one. Uh, 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 uh. Now, I know you need more than one, okay? I know this, I know, yeah. but, you can also get petroleum by killing these too. Yeah. Right, and at level 106, I don't know if we should just kill him because producing oil in a petroleum bin, um, we're gonna need a little bit of power yeah. for a generator anyway. Let's just go ahead and, let's just go ahead and finish it. Oh, 12 barrels of oil, Squishy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully his friend hopefully his friend didn't see that and get upset about it all righty let's see here yep feeding the meat good 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 well um, <laughs> we're making our rounds we're making our rounds all right there's another goblin king here just make sure we're nowhere near our little bug buddy there we go and there's another bug that just popped in too. Ha ha, we got our dung beetle. Yeah, we got him. Uh, we're not gonna name him Squishy, that's just weird. Okay, <gasps> we got the Goblin Trading Center. You know, on the first playthrough that I had of this Squishy, I tried to tame one of these so long. It was ridiculous. All right, Squishy, last feed. Ha <laughs> ha, we got the little Petro Slime. All right, let's see if we can convert him to Pix Block. That worked just fine. Why not the dung beetle then? Uh. Maybe it was some sort of weird timeout because I hit it with the uh, the arrows, and it's just not showing up. But we'll 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 make sure that we wait enough time to grab him if that's the case. Only five minutes, right? There we go. All right. Uh, it might have just been some weird bug or whatever. But at any rate, we did get the dung beetle. We got a petroleum slime, and I think. It would be good for him to explore a little bit with Dune, don't you think? Yeah, maybe maybe get an, a few more gas barrels before we go home. Let's go ahead and uh, pix block our uh, our Pteranodon friend. Grab his saddle. All right. Now we can go explore it a little bit with Dune. Oh, this goes a little bit lower, Squishy. I don't know if we should go in here, but I am seeing... What is that, Squishy? Is that all iron? Oh, oh no, that's moss ruins, buddy. <sighs> yeah. You know, that's interesting. We, we haven't found any underground ruins yet, man. We have not. So we have to mark this, man. We definitely have to mark this. Is there anything that I have to fear down here? No. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, there's there's some desert above us. We're still in the desert biome. Why is there moss ruins in here? Hmm. 
You can break these now with a steel pickaxe? Very interesting. I never knew that you could break those. All right, that's all clay. I was just making sure. Uh, is it because we're on the corner of another biome or something? Let's see where we're at. Yeah, kind of. Well, maybe it's considered something else. At any rate, it's ruins. Um, let's let's mark it. Let's see. We're here. We gotta say moss ruins, wow. and we're at negative one sixty one. And 603. There we go. Moss ruins marked. Oh, I kind of want to explore them right now, buddy. But uh, I think I think we should pay attention to the to the mission at hand, and maybe get to those in a coming episode. You know? Well, we getting deep into it now, Squishy. <laughs> this is this is way underground, buddy. But I I saw these zombies. And you know how you know how I've been looking for a zombie heart, right? Wow. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that, buddy! <laughs> we got we got the goblin marketplace, and we got the zombie uh, heart, da, 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 all at the da, same time, da, 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 and a couple of good tames. You know, I really just wanted a couple more of the uh, of the petroleum slimes before I left. Wow. But to be perfectly honest, it's kind it's getting kind of crazy down here. See all the subterranean stuff happening? We have plants. We have uh, bats. There's all sorts of things that... And I'm starting to hear magic bio music. I think we're a little bit out of our element, buddy. A little out of our element. I do want to stop and see what this is, though. That's a truffle. What do we need truffles for? I don't know. But I want to get a couple more. I have no idea. Light mushrooms and truffles. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm going to pick a few of these and then I think we're going to get the heck out of here. Uh oh. We got plants after us. All right. Home sweet home, Squishy. Let's see how all of this works with the dung beetles. I took the liberty of getting a little bit of uh, a little bit more feces. Yeah. Uh, so we do have some spoiled meat to feed them too. I think that's what they still eat. I'm, I'm I don't know in in, in Pixar if they eat uh, just uh, fecal matter or what. So let's go ahead and give this to them and see what happens. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing they eat. But their food's only twelve fifty nine right now, so it's going to be a little bit before we can see what's going on with that and we might even put our rex in the back room here dune yeah dune would you mind staying in this cramped quarters just to uh just to poop <laughs> and i know it's not decorated yet squishy it's okay though dune doesn't really need interior decorations buddy you see he fits just fine isn't that right dune <laughs> All right, man, I'm going to give you some food, some good snack food, so that you can do your thing back here, and uh, we're going to check on you every once in a while. We'll just keep this door open. So, the dung beetle, I'm thinking that as his food goes down, he's just going to eat the big feces, and he's going to make oil and stuff. We already have a little bit of barrel of oils, uh, barrels of oil already, and I want to set this thing up as well. This little goblin. Oh. Yeah. This is a really, really cool thing. Let's set this up in the room over here, Squishy. Oh. We already have our big, um, our, what you call it, our industrial smelters going on here. So uh, we are going to have a little bit of room left. Could we do it on maybe this wall in the corner? I think that's going to be fine. Oh. Let's go ahead and place it. It's getting a little dark here, too. E to rotate. All right. Yeah. And we have a couple of them, actually. So let's see what they sell, Squishy. Okay. We got iron ore, yellow magic stones, silver ingots, magic fiber, gold ingots, copper ingots, gold ingots, copper ingots, so different sizes. So you could get a lot of resources from these guys. And if I'm not mistaken, sometimes you can get different ones. Like, they'll sell different stuff. So, let's take the other one that we have, because we ended up getting two all together. And we will turn it around and place it here. Right next to the other one. So, just a, a ton of goblins squishing. And let's see what we got here. Roughly the same thing. 
Gold. <laughs> copper. Silver. <laughs> All right. Purple magic stones. So they give different kind of magic stones. And these have sulfur. Did these have sulfur too? <laughs> no. Yellow magic stones and iron ore. Okay. So we can actually buy different resources from those guys. You know, that could come in really, really handy. Let's go ahead and put our light helmet on so we could get some work done here so we can craft gasoline in our smelter sort of like the way that you can do it in arc so let's go ahead and put let's see we have gasoline that we could just make here it does take barrels of oil and leather so we'll be able to make 12 gasoline with this we're gonna make it all because i don't think there's anything that we need oil for that we don't need gas for yeah. we'll just be very very careful when i get you know what we'll make 10 just in case because it doesn't expire or anything so if we do need any kind of oil we'll still have some Let's go ahead and put some coal in here to burn. We'll light the fire and that's gonna be 20. So we'll have we'll have a little bit left to go. And there is our first batch of gasoline squishy. Yeah, now we can use the industrial smelter to make steel, right? Yeah, okay. So let's go take a look at the steel recipes. And to make steel here, this is cobalt ingots, which I've never made any before. We could smelt silver we could smelt our steel right here and this is going to be iron ingots and coal so let's go grab the coal that's in the forge because we're not going to need that right now that's all making we'll grab all the iron as well so we're starting to get a little bit of silver ingots but we can easily smelt that down okay let's grab all of this gas we'll go ahead and put out this fire and grab the rest of our iron and smelt it all up. All right, let's see how fast this baby smelts, okay? Let's go ahead and put the gasoline in here, wherever our gas is. And I want to see how long one burns, to tell you the truth. I really do. Uh, let's see, we can hold control to get just one. We could put that in here and turn it on. Nice. All right. So let's craft all of these iron ingots right now. About the same speed, to tell you the truth. Not anything real incredible. Let's go ahead and craft all the steel ingots too. 76 to start with. Takes a little longer than iron, but it can do them at the same time, which is nice. I have quite a bit more iron as well. Off of one gas, we're getting all of this done. Buddy. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? Okay, for steel ingots, we're going to need more iron ingots. That's okay. We'll just craft a bunch more. There we go. And we'll take the ingots that we already have so that we can queue up more steel. And now we got a supply going, Squishy. Yeah, man. So for the petroleum slimes, I think we're going to need a generator. So let's take a look at that. We have the fabricator now. So we can make electronics, we can make the generator, we can make all of that stuff. Wow. If we take a look at generator, we got the Raptor power generator, the regular power generator, and the wind driven generator. Now, I don't know a whole bunch about the wind power. I just know the wind has to blow. So the weather has to be bad in order to produce electricity. Wow. I'm not so sure if I'm ready to go through with that. We have some quartz that we can make this with, fire uh, stone powder, and iron ingots. So if we make a generator, we can power the petroleum, I think it's called uh, petroleum slime incubator. Wow. It does require power. In, uh, but it's just the, oh, actually, that's just the Ingram power generator. Wow. Can we just make this? It requires some steel, f uh, is that iron or steel stuff? Okay, can only be crafted at power, uh, fabricator. Okay, we have we have gas for this thing now. Wow. So let's do the same thing that we did earlier so we don't over commit our resources. Okay, glass windows and iron foundations. Easy, man, wow. easy, easy, easy. Now, if I remember correctly, Squishy, this thing is big. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> it's really, really big. So we'll go ahead and take this and We'll see if it needs power to set up or anything. Let's just put it down. We're gonna put it down in this little corner. Uh, wow. the, the squishy committee is <laughs> is kind of all in the way, buddy. Wow. Yeah, I think we're gonna, uh, let's see. Squishy, I'm gonna put you down right here. Wow. And I'm gonna move these guys to a different little area. Y'all can wow. hang out by the, 
by the uh by the goblin squad over here. Okay? How about that? And all just on the handrails. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, I'm coming, Squish. Don't worry. Okay, so uh, we can take our petroleum. So, oh, it's already in the hot water. Okay, how about? Oh my goodness! It is large and in charge, buddy. Okay, it doesn't say that it needs power. Select capture to get the slimes in. Place charcoal inside to get fuel, and then use it to fill petroleum barrels. Okay, that that works. Let's put the charcoal in. Or oh, is it is it regular charcoal? Oh, it's charcoal. Well, we have some of that. All right, that's cool. We can do that. And as far as our uh, the the slime, if we hold E, it doesn't give us the problem. It doesn't give us the uh, the option to capture. But if we oh no, not you, Squishy. If we uh if we throw the petroleum slime out. And uh, select capture petroleum slime. It puts it in there. Yeah, it's kind of neat, huh? Okay. And now, if I just put produce petroleum, it will make petroleum. I don't know how much it's gonna make, but it looks like about an hour and seven minutes before it makes anything. We can definitely check on the progress as we go. But yeah, this is working out just fine. It's getting a little crowded in here, and I gotta admit, I, I've been only using one of these things. We might need to move stuff around. It's too bad that it's gonna actually take uh, this long to figure that out. But th this room is supposed to be crowded. It is the work. Room. I was gonna do much more sophisticated stuff with the decorations and things, but you know, workflow and all that is kind of crowded. But we get we getting things accomplished. We experiment, and we might replace some of these things. Uh, as far as the dung beetle, where you at, buddy? You still haven't eaten yet, have you? I'm gonna go ahead and increase your weight because I think that's what we used to have to increase back in the day to, for you to hold more poop. And uh, we'll keep filling you up and, and kind of have you go. Come to think of it, Squishy, I think I just had them in a hole, but they were set to wandering so they can actually make it. It doesn't, it says only when patrolling. That's the whole thing. So we just need to make it to where they can move around. That's what happened last time, Squishy. Okay, well, what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna make a little, we're gonna make a little incision here. And this is gonna be the space that I have him in for now. There we go, now he's in. So we give him the fecal matter back and we put him on wandering. All right, he's wandering. So now when he gets hungry, he's going to eat the fecal matter and turn it into that. All right, and set this heavy stuff in here and make a whole bunch of electronics. We can make 44. I think I do have a little bit more copper. All right, we just now ran out of time on the gasoline squishy and we got 85 electronics set up. Plenty enough to be able to do a generator and all of that good stuff. Uh, we did get some more charcoal, which we already had a little bit, and we can make sure to add that to the pile. And he hasn't used any yet, and he hasn't produced any petroleum yet, but adding some more petroleum slimes to this whole deal might be a good idea. You know, I was thinking for exploration, Squishy, next time we come back, we might do a little bit of industry too, but I think would be a good idea would be to maybe get something to explore for some more oil potentially maybe fly around those caverns a little bit safer instead of the pteranodon because they get they're they're squishy so to speak <laughs> that's gonna be it for today you guys i hope y'all really enjoyed the episode thanks so much for watching as always this is uljan and squishy signing off and we'll see you next time Break it down.